New Volvo V90 Cross Country 2017 Review We drive the jacked up Volvo V90 Cross Country Estate in the ice and snow in Sweden. Verdict 4 Star The existing Volvo V90 is a capable, refined, and comfortable cruiser, and this cross country version only goes to better it on those three key characteristics. It's not the sharpest car to drive, but that'll be of little consequence to those who want a high quality, hugely desirable and kit laden alternative to a full size SUV. Volvo's history of jacked up estate cars can be traced back to before Audi introduced its venerable Al Road in the late 90s. The pioneering Volvo V70 XC went on sale in 1997, two years ahead of its German rival. Since then, the Swedish manufacturer has seen great success with its cross-country models. The original XC paved the way for the XC90 SUV in 2002 which, along with the smaller XC60, brought unprecedented sales for the brand. Now, with an XC40 due before the end of 2017, things are showing little sign of slowing. The V90 Cross Country is Volvo's latest off-road load lugger. Using the standard estate as a base, engineers have raised the suspension by 65 mm, added protective body cladding, and installed a new off-road setting for the car's drive mode selector. Our test took place in ice and snow-covered Sweden, and as a result our car came fitted with studded winter tires. While not truly representative of how the car will behave back in the UK, it gave us a good idea of the car's secure and stable handling. Much like the V90 estate, the cross-country majors on refinement, and even on its winter wheels the cabin remained hushed, with little in the way of wind or road noise. The punchy D5 diesel fades into the background, and barely raises its voice when you floor the throttle and ask for a lower gear. The same should be true of the less powerful D4, which in the normal V90 is our pick of the range. The steering is still a little light, but it's direct, and is adjustable via the drive mode selector. It waits up in dynamic mode, but you're best leaving the cross country in comfort, as that's where it's at its best and most relaxed. Body control was harder to assess on our test drive as the icy conditions dictated tentative cornering speeds, but given the raised suspension it's unlikely to right any of the standard car's shortcomings in this department. Consider this a capable cruiser with added off-road ability, though, and you won't be disappointed. Back in the UK on more conventional rubber we expect the V90 Cross Country to deliver plenty of grip thanks to the smart all-wheel drive system, which features as standard across the range. In normal conditions it drives only the front wheels, but can send power to wherever it's needed in a split second. It's remarkably effective, and allowed us to drive with confidence in Sweden, through some truly treacherous terrain. What that softer suspension does offer, however, is a nicely cushioned ride. While the varying road surfaces did occasionally upset the V90S composure, on the whole it felt more compliant than the standard car where sharper ridges and potholes sent shutters through the chassis on the normal V90, our cross-country model, with its optional air suspension, remained unflustered. Our D5 diesel suffers a slight hike in CO2 emissions, 139G slash KM vs 129G slash KM, while company car drivers see a 2% rise in big thanks to the raised ride height. Volvo still claims 53.3 mpg, however, meaning fuel costs shouldn't be much worse. Inside, the V90 Cross Country is as beautifully built and intuitive to use as the existing car. There's no sign of cheap or scratchy materials, and the bold portrait touchscreen incorporates Volvo's latest infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The pinch-to-zoom functionality is so instinctual, while swiping between menus will feel familiar to those with a smartphone. Standard kit is generous. Commanding a premium of around 1,500 pounds over the equivalent V90 momentum, the cross-country gets sat NAV, 
LED lights and two-zone climate control. Acting as a standalone trim, there's no sportier R design or super luxurious inscription model, though for 550 pounds you can delete the black cladding in favor of sleeker body colored trim. The options list is long, but Volvo's suite of safety kit is predictably comprehensive even on basic cars. Automatic emergency braking, lane keeping assist and traffic sign recognition are all standard, as you'd expect. When it comes to practicality, the V90 Cross Country mirrors its conventional stablemate for boot capacity and rear seat space. The 560 liter load bay expands to 1526 liters with the rear seats folded flat, while even taller passengers shouldn't struggle for head or leg room in the back. A Mercedes E-Class all-terrain is bigger overall, though. Key Specs Model Volvo V90 Cross Country D5 Power Pulse Odd Price, £43,585 Engine, 2.0 liter 4 CYL diesel Power slash torque, 232 bhp slash 480 nm Transmission, 8 speed auto, 4 wheel drive 0 to 62 miles per hour, 7.5 seconds Top speed, 140 miles per hour. Economy slash CO2, 53.3 mpg slash 139g slash km. On sale, now.